Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series on Alan Wake. Um, this one's going to be probably a little bit longer. I don't know if, uh, how long this video is going to turn out, but uh, I'm going to get a little bit further in the story here. So this dude can't see us in the light, obviously. My gun's it... out in the hall. Got to get it back. Okay. This is just awful. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Okay, well, where's... I don't know where it's at. Where's my gun? Oh, there it is. What is going on? Of course, I start at the end of the chapter. I should have waited to end the last episode. That's fine. All right, so we're back here. Those things are. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. He did. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. We were attacked by a dead man. There's no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know <laughs> that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Yeah, right what happened to the sheriff? Crazy. Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Okay, so we can go into the mine place now. So, the Nightingale attacked us. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Yes, must solve this case. So where did he go? I don't think that... Yeah, we don't have anything else to put in there, so let's go over to the other cases. Um, also, if you guys have been enjoying the series, it would be awesome if you guys could uh, subscribe, if you haven't, and uh, maybe leave a like, some comments. would be great. helps me out a ton. So who is involved? Uh, cult psychology. Victim of cult killing became a monster. This probably goes here. <clears throat> Okay. I wouldn't believe it if they hadn't if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. Okay. So maybe this here? Yeah. <clears throat> the writing's part of the ritual, maybe. Text tattooed on the victims. 
Manuscript page found inside. Writing has some significance here. Mangill was the only victim to become a monster. Was he? Oh, I guess so, yeah, because they... Um... No? Sure. Okay, his murder matched the other victims. Why didn't they become monsters too? Okay, so... Oops. Doesn't make sense. No, cult psychology. Up here, maybe? No. Cult goal? Yeah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have an explanation for this. How are they doing this? What the hell is going on here? Okay. I think that's... Okay, so map. Manuscript pages. So the message... That was the first one. The autopsy room was a mess, oh, yeah. like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga, didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch, get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Okay. So that's obviously the story as it was being written. So we're just a part of the story of Alan's story. And things are changing and he's giving us clues on how to get through it and what's going on through the pages of the story have we listened to this that's just the uh, just the music television uh, okay so we've already we've already done that too <laughs> which is pretty funny okay cool I think profiling is good yeah I think everything else is good okay let's go back out okay so what's this is this the page that we pulled Saga out of him? Was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Wait, what? Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale okay. Was but was so that just a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place in the dark place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual, Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. So those give us a little bit more information on things then. Um, oh, and it gives us these here. Saga had to pre Nightingale into the overlap. Um, so probably here, yeah. The overlap, what? These pages aren't making sense. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake. And he's taken? Okay, so I wonder if... Nope, 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 that's not what I'm going to do. So, where are the manuscript, manuscript pages? So do we... I don't think we ever looked at this the one here. Is one of their own. FBI special agent because it gives you more gone missing here information then you can use it now he had suddenly turned up only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival and then there was the page this page the first page that they had found not the last the first step down into terrifying depths secret truths trembling beyond the threshold reading the words these words felt like a message was a message Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them, leading them on. 
an invitation. How could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Okay. So those give you, obviously we just said a little bit ago, but those give you a little bit more information on what's the going on. High Strangler case. Proud of that one. But, all right, let's get back here. Take a look around here. Just want to see if there's anything else. So they killed the officers. The heart is gone too. Did the That's fucker take it with him? Probably. So we got to be careful about using our flashlight as well because we have, we'll, we'll have batteries that we'll have to use, which we've got four of right now in reserve. So it killed her. I can't get through this. So we're probably not going to be able to find anything else here. So we're probably just going to have to head back to Cauldron Lake. But let me just take a look. So the morgue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Nothing. Might have been like an organ donor uh, box or something. All right, let's go back to Cauldron Lake, buddy. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Okay, so how do we get out? Because these doors are locked. Oh, okay. We heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Yeah, you better. Don't be talking any more crap about me over the walkie-talkie, you hear me? But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Well, he obviously you did something. That? Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and... What do you mean? The, the sheriff disappeared. I'm right here. I can hear you. He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. Oh, but it is. Right. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. I love it. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely not real. I knew that. <laughs> yes, I'm still here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Their conversations are just too good to miss. Right, can we get through here? Oh, we've already been in here, I Can't think. Open this with my bare hands. Okay, yeah, that's something we just don't have. I think we've already looked through the rooms that we can. No. Wait, can we use this there? No. Oh, that's for the uh, the shortcut back at Cauldron Lake. Okay, let's go. Almost forgot that it was still daytime. There. <laughs> right? Yeah, just a couple of idiots. Hello, officer. How are you? All right, let's go. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm good. Nightingale okay. and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. So I'm wondering. We need backup. I guess we're gonna have to All walk back down to our car. Whoever you can spare. Who's this guy? This dude's a serial killer. Are you part of the cult? Let me see your backpack. Think we'll actually find no. the okay. lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree, but it's our best lead. Roll over. Mayor Setter won't roll over on issues. Marisetta won't roll over on the issues. Cool. That's great. It's exciting. Super stuff. Super duper. Why don't you put that out on the main street so more people will see it instead of on this, this alleyway here. Like, or cut your grass or something. I don't know. This doesn't look too inviting right there. Car can be used to travel between locations. Walk out, get a beer. Or maybe three. 
Okay. Um, I kind of want to look around just to see. Oh, what? I'm going to take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Okay. That's fun. Moist jerky. Oh, mo moose jerky. <laughs> I thought it was a Davis family moist jerky. Here. Oh, hey guys. Nice restaurants. I'm a bit of a foodie. Well, uh, the restaurants and shops in town are closed at the moment, unfortunately. Elderwood Palace Lodge Bright Falls. Right after Deer Fest, though. Hey, how so are you doing? That dude is just having a blast, man. There's not even any music playing. I don't think I am. You okay? Whatever a Deer Fest even is. Oh. You all right? You just okay. You're just living your best life, aren't you? That that's good. That's good. I'm glad. To, I'm glad to see that. Oh, that was really shiny. Okay. Oh, what's this? Another deer head. Rest easy, buddy. <laughs> what's her obsession with the the mounted deer heads? <clears throat> so weird. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is like a victim board. Interesting. Wait, that kind of it kind of reminds me of our mind place. Hmm. This whole room kind of reminds me of it. Yeah, because you got the gun thing here, all of this stuff here, the manuscripts over here. This is interesting. That's really weird. I thought it looked familiar, but. All right. Anything behind the bar? Nope. I like that we just have free range of this. Like, FBI. We're just like, whatever. And do what I want. Hello. Is there anybody here? Are you pooping? No? Okay. FBI. Oh, this is... Because we're staying here. So this must be one of our rooms, then. Okay. Let's close that. I don't want anybody to steal anything. Pool table? Okay. All right. I understand. Hello? Okay. Is this... Cauldron Lake. Look into news and rumors. Focus on 2010. Cross-reference with old case files from New York City cult similarities, commonalities, and meth methodology. Part of series? Find out name of good coffee from diner. All right. This must be Casey's room. Yeah, he's a messy boy. He didn't even make his bed. You okay, ma'am? You okay? Hello? I don't, I don't think they're there. Don't think they're there. I can't force it open. Okay. All right. So that's all that the lodge has for us. I'm going to take a look around town a little bit and see if there's anything cool we can find. Okay, so we've sufficiently searched the entire town. We found a bunch of locked doors that we can't get in. We need something to cut it, kind of like the one in the basement of the uh, police station. Um, but other than that, there's really there's nothing. Nothing. All right. Let's get back to Cauldron Lake, buddy. Let's do it. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I 
started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Dude, right? Like, just keeping all that stuff from us until now? I mean, I guess we just found out a bunch of stuff about, you know, these different things. It hasn't been that long since we, you know, searched and found the body. The heart. All right. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. So he was killed the at the picnic. These pages knows what will happen. Table because right? they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. Solve the case. Okay. I mean, they 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 know what's happening because they're writing the story as it's going, right? I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Who are these guys? Hey. Hey. Hello there. How are you folks doing? Those oh, it's the... <laughs> this is the guy from the, uh, Hello. the ad. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? You know How about you the murder? About the murder, Elmo. Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna da Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Okay. What is this thing? It's just yeah. a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Oh, more. thanks. I bet a family member made it. My mother made yep. the sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Yeah. Stephen, we're bureau investigating of control. a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> can not run through a garbage can. Well. <laughs> he just it. turns around. <laughs> He's just like, okay, I'm done. Don't want to talk to you Let's anymore. Get to the murder side, Casey. <laughs> Now I'm curious. I wasn't, but now I am. Uh -huh. I'm gonna read your stuff, boy. Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted to a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report up for the investigation. 
uh, or investigations department. <clears throat> Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, chief technician. Okay, so somebody's been tampering with it. Gotcha. That's what I kind of figured. Okay, so we've already been up there and found that one. Okay. Wait, so do the rocks... Do those rocks have something to do with the lunchboxes? We'll have to keep an eye out for them. Um, A lot of things about I didn't catch that the other day. Me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Nightingale was responsible. Uh, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Oh, it's starting to flood. Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Yeah. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like cold. No sign of like Nightingale. Home. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we overlap. follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Okay. So we're going to have to... Oh, some, oh, there's the feet print. Bare feet. Nightingale. Yeah. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? Yeah, I saw that before. Uh, it even popped up. Okay, let's take a look and see what these um, these can do on the case board here. So footprints leading into the forest. Obviously that. Um, these footprints weren't here before. Nightingale came this way. I'm on the right trail. Obviously, and you know the the um, the feet print with the rain. It would have um, washed it away. If they were there, like, before the rain started, right? It would have, like, at least made them look different. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just an idiot. Some kind of signature? Did they intend for this body to be discovered? Or just an idol carving? I think... I mean... They definitely want the, um... I still can't upgrade that. Okay. They definitely want the, the body to be discovered. And then all of the other bodies, um had been anyway after we find nightingale what then i've never arrested a monster i've watched you arrest plenty of monsters anderson you know what i mean monster monsters light worked against him at the morgue that might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else yes just keep the sun on at all times monsters, that, that works overlaps rituals what do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. It's fair. out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. Yes. Okay, so the feet prints, and we found that there. I wonder if there's more stuff around for us. Let's go ahead and head up this way. Take a look. Yeah, we're going to need the flashlight. It's starting to get dark. Um, we'll take a look over there in a second. Um, I'm wondering if it's just going to take us back down to the lake if there's nothing else really back this way. You find anything, buddy? Just taking a look at them footprints. Okay. So we need to head back down to the lake. I forget which way to we need to go to get down there. So that's obviously there. Um, so we go right and then down. Okay. I wonder if it's going to let us in there now, though. Like, because beforehand it was blocked off. Rain's starting to pick up too. I don't like that. 
So it shows our battery life down there too. Okay, so we got plenty of battery life. Oh. Oh, that's just to climb up. Okay. Don't like that noise. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Yeah, do I have to go through the water? Jeez! I can feel something. Holy sh! A presence. <laughs> Nightingale isn't far. I did not. I did not expect that. Oh gosh. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Golden Lake. <laughs> that hurt my shoulder. There's a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, Street Station. like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is Ladle? Probably, yes. All right, so we've got this. Nightingale went through the tree into some other place. So... Tree. This means this. Or the tree could mean witch's ladle, but what's it? Uh, oh my gosh! I can't. Uh, I just lost the ability to read. The tree, which could mean witch's ladle, but what's it a threshold to? The overlap. Probably. Also, that was awful. By the way, I need to see what's in this box. And then batteries. Ammo. Witchfinder station. So Witch's Ladle was was the big tree, right? Don't you do it. Oh man, this is all underwater now. Oh, what is going on here? What is that? Seems I don't... like it's reacting to the light. Yeah. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Yeah. Toggle the flashlight boost to increase damage to, to darkness and burn through dark substance. <laughs> oh! Burn the dark stuff away. Oh. It was covering another page. Okay. That's really cool. Okay. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. So we got to go to the witch's hut. To lead me to the overlap. Okay. Let's go back here. I want to read. The fuse was in place. Or do this again. She found it. It gives you a more of the stuff. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. So that's giving us like all sorts of information about what's going on. Um, like, so once we get back there, we're going to know, or once we get to the witch's hut, we're gonna know what to look for. A thermos, a mop and bucket, something something else and there's another manuscript page in there okay so we've got to get up to the witch's hut now i'm keeping my gun out though like i don't don't trust anything mm -mm. it's getting too dark and too foggy also where's casey at and you want me to go up there I mean, let's just say it's from the rain. We'll go with that. You know, just a little little mini rock slide. 
Whoa. What was that? Some was that something that just ran through there? Did I see something? Anderson. Thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Oh okay. great. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Gosh. Describe the hut being lit. No, 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 no. I wanna lock myself in, not out. I wanna be safe from whatever's haunting me around. Okay. So, wait, 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 okay. Can we just read the manuscript? And, like, what was said? Like, my mind went, <laughs> just being, <laughs> I got all freaked out about what we saw, like, out of the corner of our eye. Coffee thermos, a shoebox, mop and bucket, poster on the wall, and in the cabinet under the manuscript page. Now, this is the witch's hut, right? Are we missing something? Is it outside? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Fuse box is missing a fuse. Locate the fuse one. in immediate lights. area. Okay. So we gotta find a fuse. Probably around here where that creature ran, right? Hello, Fuse? It says it's in the immediate area, so... Hopefully it's just on the ground somewhere. Maybe in here? This there we go. Busted. Oh, man. Take me on a wild goose chase for a Fuse. Sorry, what? Okay. Okay, so we've already read that. Um, fuse. Yeah, it looks like the rocks do have something to do with the... with the lunchboxes. So we'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, the fuse is probably over here in this, right? Yeah, this there we go. looks good. People should really stop littering, though. You're right. They really should stop littering. I'm scared. Don't, there's like little mini cutscenes. I always worry that something's gonna be behind me when I come out of it. Man, that last scare literally made me tense up so bad that I like had a cramp in my shoulder. That was awful. Okay, investigate the witch's hut. Gotcha. All right, let's get back in there. Dude, I I turn those things off. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Is this a Wow, everything's Another so page. much different. Okay. Making progress. Okay, so we can quick save it. That's really that's a really cool idea for that. Coffee. I made fun of everybody for coffee in the that first episode. That's fine. So there's um There's the thermos. Is that a poster on the wall? Mop and bucket, right? I don't see the mop and bucket. That's fine. Let's read the manuscript. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Wait. So we're going to have to... Push a heart through a witch hole? ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. So the sign that it's talking about is the one down next to the witch's ladle where you can... There's like a face 
you can put your face in it like you can take pictures you know i'm assuming that's what it's talking about there um so are we going to have to find said um oh nine millimeter ammo nice find the heart also your flashlight doesn't run out of battery you use battery whenever you um do the charge thing so so this is where i what i thought it was talking about putting the the heart through it the heart not back here no What's going on? Casey, you okay? Oh, well, maybe the poster on the wall and stuff is in here. Wait. I don't trust it. Yeah, maybe like mop and bucket in here. Poster on the wall in here. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? No, 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 no. No. Stay over here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. She did every up just jump so jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the leaf move in the distance. Like, the one... <laughs> I got, like, pointing at the screen. That leaf right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna give myself a heart attack. This game is... Oh, my gosh. It's just getting me every which way possible. What is this? Okay, so mop and bucket, maybe? Poster on the wall? Hello? Have we read this? Um, uh, yeah, no, yeah, train the, yeah, train the guy. Okay, yeah, we've read that one. Okay. Hello. So did it open that door for us? Oh, gosh! Okay. A monster, like Nightingale. Trauma pad will allow you to heal. Okay. Cool. Okay, I've turned off those notifications. They're epic. Fix your stuff, please. You're ruining everything for me. Okay. Sorry, had to complain a little bit. So that was one of the cultists there. Interesting. Okay. So we... Is this... Is there any heels in here? Looks like it. Some more batteries. Another page. Oh, nice. Okay. Saga at the general store. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an ax in his raised hand. Whoo. Okay, so that was part of the return one. I wonder if we were supposed to find that um, before we got to return two. Either way, so it looks like there's two more that were two more, and then holy crap, there's a bunch for second one. Okay, cool. So we'll be finding a lot more of those, hopefully. What's this? Oh, grew bigger. Thank you. We found some Viagra. All right. What's this? 
Check with Lady Fort Fortuna at the counter. I mean, we gotta get that, right? So we got more inventory space, that's good. Nothing in there. Okay, so there's a symbol again. Okay. So poster on the wall. All that stuff. I don't really see where that stuff's coming into play, at least here. We'll we'll find it eventually. Um, let's take a look at the counter. See if there's anything with a code. Don't forget to update the code. 705, 713, 717, 723. So that's none of those. Lotto Washington. Okay. So it's gonna have something to do with this stuff here. Um, Madam Angus, whatever it's called. Palm reading and crystal ball gazing. Interpreter of dreams. Gaze my crystal balls. Okay, let's see. 705, 713, 717. So I may or may not have just taken some screenshots of all that so we can check out all of these codes and see which one it is. Okay. Okay, so 723 seven, was the last one that they did. Okay, so seven. I guess we'll just try all these, but they're all marked out, so... I don't think it's going to be any of those. Yeah, 705. Okay, we're doing the big we're doing the big figure out right now, okay? So the first one's 705. So 705. So you skip 1 2 3 0 oh, 5. Next one's 713, so it's a 713 or 713. I think that's more more accurate. So 705 713 717, so 717 723. So the next one, logical one, would be 739, right? Yeah, let's try that. 739. Aha! Big brain. Big heckin' brain. Oh, we got the shotgun. Dude, I really wish those notifications would actually go away. You can quick slot weapons from the inventory. You can also quick slot healing items and throwable items. Okay, cool. So how do I quick slot? So then if we could do this... There we go. Cool. Then we can do this. Nice. I know my stuff's all weird. I've got stuff on my, my mouse. It's not one, two, three. I can't do it. I can't. I've never been able to use one, two, three for my stuff. Okay. So we got to interpret what the page means. Something about the witch, the heart, and all of that. Let's take a look again. Okay. So witch is ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart. A cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town, but she trusted the pages was forced to. One of the signs with the witch on it is what we've got to figure out. And... Okay. First, let's, let's do that. So we've got to find that sign. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Ooh found this we've been searching around trying to figure out what to do and found another lunchbox what's this one say remember it's just a bad day not a bad life but if you're having a good day ignore this whole thing <laughs> all right so it's one manuscript fragment so i think we got nine now okay let's go back in here i guess we'll come over here to the case board we'll go ahead and throw this in there oh wait we've got more stuff here oh geez this stuff's all playing out like crazy all right I think the page is trying to tell me where to find the fuse. It must be somewhere near the witch's hut. Okay, so we found that. Is it implying light can affect reality? Nightingale was chased off by a flashlight. Okay, here we go. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Okay. So the ritual. Okay, cool. So we've got... Okay, yeah, we forgot to just do any of this. I just got so caught up in what we were doing. Looks like the words, these, those words tattooed on the heart are a part of the ritual. Okay. 
To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Mm -hmm. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. That's what I was thinking, but like, I didn't know how to do that. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Yeah, that's one thing we're going to definitely going to need to figure out. Okay, we're going to do profiling in a second. Let's go ahead and throw this uh, lunchbox in here. Um, so we got this one here. You know, I kind of needed to, to hear this. Thanks, lunchbox writer. It's really funny. So, so yeah, we got like, one, two, three, three more to find down in this area. Okay, cool. So profiling Nightingale, the I heart. Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The he was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. The heart. Where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? For a while, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Okay. Cool. So we found it. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Let's go to the general store. I need to check the general store for the heart. Alright. Let's do it. Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Alright. Oh, we've only got two shotgun shells. Here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Refrigerator. So you've got those. Was there a refrigerator back here? There we go. Nice. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. Huh. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Okay. Nightingale's heart. Is that in our I inventory? To give the heart to the witch. It's not. It makes total sense. <laughs> All right, let's go back here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Take a look. Okay. Cases. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Dude, this is crazy. Look at all we've done so far. That's nuts. Okay. Words on the heart. Where's the heart? So we found the heart. How did it get in there from the morgue? Did Nightingale hide it there? Probably. Okay. Words on the heart. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. Okay. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Okay. So we've got to put it into the... So we had the right idea all along. We just forgot to go into our mind place and actually, you know, do all of that. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm on route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. I don't like these sounds. Mm -mm. These are not too hard to kill, I guess. Nothing on their bodies. Okay. OK, 
Okay, Nightingale's Heart. What's going on now? Enter the overlap through the witch's ladle. Ooh. Casey. Wait. I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey. Casey. Yeah, we're me? we're in another dimension now, aren't we? Okay. We have to be. Going in solo. We have to be. Okay. So our next objective is to defeat Nightingale. Mom. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! What? Where are you? What? What the fuck was that? Logan's don't... back in Virginia. You're yeah, imagining you're... things. You're hallucinating, woman. It's all in your mind. But not your mind place. What is this? Which way do I- which way do I go? I'm- I don't- mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Is there a map? Nope. <laughs> of course not. There's no map for this place. Thing. Hello. Doesn't look like there's anything over here, so we're gonna have to go through that tree, I guess. Nothing. Okay. Anything back in here? No, I can't get back over there. Okay. Let's go through the tree. The game just saved. That's not good. What was that? Was that Alan? You need to save Alan. That's what we need to do. Wait. Did I get turned around? Oh, wait. No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. What was that? What is it? Oh, another page. Okay. At least we could still go into here. Um, Need to find Nightingale. So it would be this one here, the right? The went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place. Wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please. Stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. 
Their shape shifted, echoes of the writer's dreams, fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that, the writer was writing again. Okay. The writer was writing again. So this is Alan Wake writing the story. I mean, I think we kind of, kind of figured that was the case. I guess we'll just go ahead and... What? What was that? What did we, what did we see? Jeez! Ooh. Is this red light? What is the... What is going on? There he is. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. Wait, which way which way do we go? Left, right? Oh gosh, I don't I don't know. Where are you at? He's here. Nightingale. Where are you at? We need to follow the lights. Oh. There's more cult symbols. What's this? Oh. The page. I need to look around to make sure we're not missing anything. Nightingale in the dark place. Okay. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Sent to find the light switch. That was not the like occultist. Okay, so those are like rewrites. Huh. Wonder if those rewrites have anything to do with like what we've done in the past. Okay, before we go down there, I'm looking around, making sure that we're not missing anything else, because that was just randomly placed on the ground. Um, below a tree. We might have missed some stuff in the past already, but... Okay. Pull it up. Thank you. Who is that? That's Alan. It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Right? I don't trust it. These sharp corners. Looks like a fence. You know what that was? It's another cultist symbol. Okay. So I'm just looking on the ground, making sure we're not missing the uh, those pages or anything. Okay. Nightingale's badge. Oh no. 
What's this? Lancaster? Shotgun shells. Okay. That's not good. So Nightingale. Nightingale stuff. I mean, that's old stuff. I mean, 13 years. It's a long time for it to be laying out here. You shouldn't? Shouldn't we take that? Like, wouldn't that be part of, like, the investigation? I'm gonna figure that out. Okay. Wait, did I? Okay, I thought I saw something there. Sorry. Let's go. Alright, Nightingale. Sent to find the light switch. Where are you at? Also, what's what what lights like what's the light switch? The clicker? All these symbols everywhere. I'm not seeing anything on the ground. this we're we going into are we going into another dimension we what what is going on wow what just happened I'm s what was that Right, Nightingale. It's me and you. Alright, big boy. Me and you. How do I dodge, by the way? Space. Oh. What is that? Run to where? Whoa. Wait. What just... What the hell just... I need to get that stuff. I was so baffled by what happened. Okay, I'm out of ammo for that. No, I'm not. Okay, so he's got to shoot him a couple times until he freaks out. I don't know which way to go, though. Is this back the way we came from? Maybe we need to go that I don't... I don't know which way... Chase the source. I wish those stupid things would go away. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh. Okay. Where you at? Where you at? What's this? What was that? Painkillers. Okay. Yeah. Jeez! Jeez, boy. Gosh. Holy crap. Um, small amount of health quickly. Yeah, we'll just take a little bit of that. I just want to see how much it does. Not much. Okay, do I go up here? No, he just busted out of there. Okay. Okay. Nightingale. Where are you? Oh, here's another... Another thing. There's some more ammo there. Let's reload this real quick before he comes back. Okay. Reborn. Oh, 
cool. Are you up? Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. That's not fair. You can't have teleporting abilities. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. 